In 1975, in Cubeo, Quezon City, Tony Tan Cattiong and his family opened the Magnolia Ice Cream Parlor. Per the request of customers, they soon started serving hot meals, and eventually those hot meals became more popular than the ice cream. So in 1978, they closed that ice cream part down and opened the very first Jollibee. Now Jollibee has over 1,300 locations globally, with 1,150 of those in the Philippines. I have seen countless comments requesting I do this menu, so this video better crush. I'm talking five mil in a week. I'm counting on you Philippines. I need every single person in the Philippines to watch this and every single Filipino American to watch it too. Tell your friends, tell your family. Also, you should tell your friends and family about Keith's Chicken Sauce and Keith's Haber's Burger Sauce. Delicious hot sauces for your mouth. What pleasures await you? All right, let's eat the menu. All right, let's eat the menu. It smells amazing in here. I'm so excited for breakfast. Everything's like a combo meal. I saw a glimpse of one that looked like a bunch of pieces of steak. That's what I call breakfast. Let's eat this menu. Yum, yum. All right, what do we got in here? The longanisa pork sausage. Longanisa. Longanisa. The pork sausage meal. It's a full sausage link. Do other fast food places have sausage links? It's like a candied chicken apple sausage smell, but I think it's pork. Choose like sausage, tastes like a sweet bacon. I'm very into that. All right, a little over hard for me. So if you like hard boiled eggs, but want them flat, this is your way to go. We are starting strong here at Jolly Bee. Way to go, congratulations so far. Corned beef breakfast, the corned beef hash situation going on here, that's awesome. This is a very American, like Southern, you know, American, not South American, North Amer USA in. I used to love making corned beef hash in Chicago in the morning. Heavy breakfast though. That's good corned beef hash. Noodle? What do you think that is? Crap. That's just a hunk of fat, not a noodle. <laughs> you got me. Hell yeah, are you kidding me? Look at what the f is this? This is the Tochino, the sweet pork. Now this looks a lot like the pork I had in Hawaii. It looks candied, smells candied. Tastes candied. Very sweet and bright pork. A nice savory flavor, a nice blend of those two. Garlic, holy sh it's garlic rice. Garlic rice is a good way to wake up if you don't like coffee. That woke me up. That bite, it got me going. Look at this, it's just pieces of beef. <laughs> beef tenders, my tapa breakfast. Let's try the tapa. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that is just jarred minced garlic poured in. I'm gonna put a little burger sauce on this because I know the burger sauce is great on steak and I feel like this is basically just steak. Burger sauce though. Mm. It kind of reminds me of beef jerky, actually. And there is like a sweetness buried inside. It's definitely marinated. Mmm. I <laughs> really good burger sauce. And now it's time for the final breakfast option. Bone-in fried chicken on a egg <laughs> with rice. Now I get a little breakfast chicken? They know me so well. Maybe I shouldn't eat it until I have the chicken later, but maybe I'll just have it right now too and just pretend I haven't had it later. Mmm. Mm -hmm. The only other times I've had fried chicken in the morning is when it's like leftover fried chicken. So it's given me leftover fried chicken vibes even though it's not leftover. The egg I lost entirely. <laughs> the garlic rice is just so flavorful. Now I'm actually filming this after I've had everything else and I probably would have said that my favorite thing was actually the breakfast. So I'm gonna give a special mention right now to the breakfast. It's delicious. If you can get the Jollibee breakfast, I highly recommend pretty much any item. It actually is very comforting like an American breakfast. Just a little bit Asian. And we all like that, don't we? Oh, there's some gravy! Well, I know this is just around the corner, so let's save the gravy for the next beat. The Jolly Sides. All right, let's start with these french fries. The fries. Look at this little guy. Look at this little bee. I think he is physically a Jolly Bee. A jovial bee. They smell like straight up McDonald's. Mmm, not as salty as you expect. Overall, the fries are fine. I wouldn't call them Jolly Fries, I call them Fine fries, okay fries, somewhat good spirited fries. White rice, wow. Haven't had this since um, Jack in the Box. And it was not good in Jack in the Box. If you remember Jack in the Box, I fully thought I was going to die. It smells like it's made with the water that they use to wash dishes after the dishes have been washed. So I'm very excited today to have a menu that's not over 100 items. The white rice. Bonus points if the workers were actually making it by putting their finger in the pot because I hear that's how you're supposed to do it. For fast food rice, not bad. Actually, it's pretty good. I'm, I don't hate that at all. I'm gonna try it with some gravy. I don't know if you're supposed to. 
Mm. Oh yeah. Holy cow, that gravy's amazing. I'm into it. Huh? Rice. Who knew? You can make rice taste good without really doing much to it. Take that, white people. We are not good at making rice. Becky and I made rice for the first time following some Asian TikToker who was like, you gotta make it like this. Listen up, white people. So we were white people and we listened up and he was right. Our rice has never come out so good. This is the adobo rice. I imagine it's got pieces of chicken adobo. Adobo chicken? It's obviously a very seasoned rice. It smells really good. Mmm, yeah, it's very mildly flavored, but savory. Oh man, if you could crack an egg on this as a hangover, the food, this would be so good. It's like just, just a little bit salty, just a little bit savory, but also very like plain. Like I just need to fill my guts up with something. I kind of want to just sip the gravy. Good gravy, let's eat. What is it? I don't know. It reminds me of Thanksgiving, but not my Thanksgiving, you know? But let's have it on what it's supposed to be on, the mashed potatoes. The first sniff reminds me of elementary school instant potatoes. Oh, that's really good. I wanna dip a chicken leg into this. You know me, it is very lovably cheap. You know, it like, it is instant potatoes. These taste like elementary school, but it's good. It like, it makes me happy. It makes me ask if like my, my friend Dave is done with his, and then I put my tray against his tray. That's how you don't lose any, because some people would like lift it over the table. I'm like, what are you doing? You're gonna fucking drop food on the table, and then you're missing a morsel, right? You gotta line them up side to side, and you scrape it over. And that's how you get all of your friend's food in elementary school. I wasn't bullied, I didn't steal people's lunches. I just, I asked for enough food to probably build a whole second lunch. Now let's try some traditional classics. I don't know what to title these because all these things are a little bit different. This is the Jolly Spaghetti. Jolly Spaghetti. So jolly. I know that this is made totally different than our spaghetti. It's got hot dogs in it. It's got some like ground beef in it. It's got some other stuff in it. It smells pretty much like, I would say Chef Boyardee. Oh, no it doesn't. Let's try it. I honestly can't describe this flavor to you. It tastes kind of sugary. The hot dogs barely taste like hot dogs. Barely. It's basically sweet spaghetti with hot dogs. I think I recommend it for children. I don't recommend it for me. However, I think if this is something you grew up eating, you'd probably find comfort in it. But it is bizarre. I, I don't know how to describe this to you, America and the world. What does it taste like? That tastes like sugar spaghetti with hot dogs. Is it good? I don't know. Is it bad? I don't think so. Uh, do I like it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now joining me on Eat the Menu Jollibee is everybody's favorite little baker, Alex Lewis! Oh, 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 Hello everybody. It's time for everyone's favorite segment. Alex brought some cookies to the all you can eat, eat eating the, the menu, menu time. time. Here's the thing. The uh, last time oh, I brought you brownies, uh -huh. you didn't like them. Well, you made them with the wrong ingredients. That's right, I sure did. But I wanted to make up for my past mistake. So Keith, these cookies have brownies inside of them. Are you kidding? I am not. That's genius, Alex. Well, this is a great, you've done, you've outdone yourself. <laughs> First of all, the cookie part is really good. It's a really good chocolate chip cookie. Careful on those dabs, okay. bro. Sorry, <laughs> definitely hit myself in the temple. And you're Jewish, so temple means a lot more. Oh, Shana Tova. <laughs> great job, Alex. Unfortunately, Alex does have a girlfriend now, so all these baking things, they don't help you. What? What is All right, let's move on. <laughs> Palabac Fiesta. Olay. Ooh, I feel like I, this looks delicious. Actually. It does look really good. It kind of looks like a pad thai. It does look like a pad thai. But with thinner rice noodles. I think this is egg, Ew. a little shrimp. Mm. This has got some breadcrumbs or crushed pork rind. What? Mm. Crushed pork rinds? Okay, we'll eat from different sides of the box. We all have been tested for coronavirus and we're all a negative. All right, mm -hmm. let's try it. Mmm, that is a different flavor. I like that. I like it too, but coming off of brownie and cookie, <laughs> hard left. I'm having a great time over here. I've never enjoyed a new meal on Eat the Menu this much. The mm -hmm. egg really is kind of nauseating, but everything else is like- You didn't really eat the egg, egg though. I know, it looks disgusting. I ate the egg and it was good. I find that hard boiled eggs is the yolk that's the hardest part to consume. That looks like an eyeball. 
Let's try the burger steak meal. I think this is gonna be delicious. This looks like Salisbury steak. <laughs> I'm excited for the burger steak. What the f is we, going on in here? We, it's burger and mushrooms and gravy and rice. I'll take a burger steak, you take a burger steak. I'll take a mushroom, you take a mushroom. Oh, <laughs> oh uh oh. Okay. Maybe do a one, two. A hey, little I'm gonna do work. one, two. Okay, let's go. That's beef stroganoff. And the, the gravy is so savory. It is really, it's, I'm, mm. I'm for a fast food gravy, this mm. is delicious. Mm. Holy cow. Mm-hmm. Look at you, you finished your whole burger patty? I'm hungry. Oh my God, look at him, he's finishing his meal. Oh, I'm growing up. When I was in my daycare as a child, if you finished your lunch, you got to have a piece of candy. However much food you took, you had to consume, and your reward, more food. It was a good incentive for me. What's going on with you? We got some Lou Burger digital shows. I don't know when this episode's coming out, but we're probably doing a virtual show sometime in the next month or so. Go listen to our albums. Yeah. That's what you should do. Give them a listen. Wouldn't it be cool if all of the Philippines chose Lou Burger as their favorite band? Why not? Then we could say things like, I'm huge in the Philippines. We would love to be able to do that. I mean, technically I'm a giant person. I probably would be huge in the Philippines. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for the cookie brownies. Oh. We'll see you next time on Eat the Menu. Bye. <laughs> You can't believe it, I can't believe it. There's a fried chicken place that I have not had before and it's Jollibee. I have actually specifically not had Jollibee because I always wanted to try it for an eat the menu. I wanted to try it for the first time on camera. I know that the chicken is marinated and then it is breaded and fried, so I'm looking forward to what flavors lie within. I also love that they call it chicken joy. But to help me get through both buckets, please welcome to the eat the menu stage, the one, the only, Huey Stonefish! Nice, dude. Hey, Keith. How's it going, Hugh? Well, I'm back with no beard. Isn't that crazy? He looks totally different. Same me, longer hair, shorter beard. Took it away here, you put it up there. It's like one continuous string. Anyway, we got some fried chicken here. One of them is mild, one of them is spicy. I don't know which is which. Oh, now I do. Guys, hold on. How do you know which one's wild, which one's spicy? Oh, well, the spicy one has little flags in it. <laughs> little flags that say spicy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the mild and work our way up to spicy. The chicken joy. Well, oh my, this is a thigh. Mm -hmm. It really look like a, no, it's not. What is it? It looks like white meat, but that's a thigh bone. Really glistening. Mm-hmm. Very fatty, very fatty. But it's good, it has a good flavor, even though it's just very like simple. Nothing about it is so strong that I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. this tastes like this. Let's go for the leg. Mm. Way better. That's a little better. Whoa, mm -hmm. night and day. Mm -hmm. I just had a good bite. Yeah? I, my first bite was delicioso. Like I was having a fiesta. <laughs> Something about this really did me wrong, but I'm loving this. The spicy chicken joy. I'm going back to this thing. This, Look at this, how cute this leg is. Thought, this this leg thigh right. What is going on with that piece? I've never seen a piece quite that shape. It's like this little jolly bee conquered this leg thigh <laughs> and stamped its spicy thing I on it. I declare this chicken in the name of the spice bee. <laughs> jolly bee. It's a creeping heat. It's the batter that has the spice, not the meat. It's mm. very on the tongue. Like, my whole tongue is covered in a very prickly pepper spice. Definitely has a little bit more flavor. Oh, it's, you can see it on the inside, too. Some of that orange spicy goodness for you. This is a good spice compromise. A spice compromise, as we say in the biz. <laughs> it does seem like they only serve these thigh breasts and legs in the bucket. It's like a, only a dark meat bucket. There's no wings in here. Oh, yes. you know what, Huey? <laughs> we gotta try it with the gravy. The chicken joy with gravy. The chicken joy with gravy. Hmm. You know, it actually doesn't go together as much no. as I thought with the spicy. As our time is wrapping up, I want to just make the most of it. Thank you, Jolly Bee. Thank you, Keith. You're welcome. Thank you, you. I'm finally happy to see Huey has a little chicken joy. I have hanging with my friends joy. Aw. All right, Huey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Anything Bye. You want to plug? Anything you want to oh, yeah. plug on the way I out? I have a new music project coming out called The Deli, and I'm starting a nonprofit to bring fully funded transformative arts programs to students in the city of Syracuse. I love that. Nice. You're spreading a little Huey joy. Oh. 
Bye. Bye. I'm interrupting this Eat the Menu to let you know my comedy band Lou Burger's first ever comedy special is coming out February 9th. So soon. You can pre-order it on iTunes and check the link in the description for more information. But it's something we worked really, really hard on for a long time. We're really proud of it. And it would mean a ton to me if you would check it out. Okay. Back to the video. My mouth is hot. My mouth's so hot. My mouth is hot. My mouth's so hot. Yeah. Q U E N C H E R. Quencher. Uh oh. <laughs> I just pushed my beard through my head. It's better. What do you think about my hair, audience? Sometimes it doesn't look the best, and I can't do anything about it. And then I watch back the video when it's online, and I think, man, I should have fixed my hair. And I'm embarrassed, but I can't do anything about it. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. Oh yeah, you'll see my new haircut when I have breakfast. So yeah, real quick, if the, obviously you, you saw that breakfast bar, right? We shot that a different day and now I don't have my haircut. I don't know how this is gonna edit. It's all out of order, but that's part of the fun of Eat the Menu, baby. Oh, I feel it. I felt it. I felt it sticking up weird. It's the back too. Let's try the quenchers. Mmm, get quenched. The pineapple quencher. Mmm. Sweet. Really good. There's so much sugar in this pineapple clincher that like the pineapple, I know normally pineapple has a little bit of acidity that like just lightly tickle burns. I get none of that. Mm, that's sweet and lovely. <laughs> Refreshing is a Coca-Cola, but nothing like a Coca-Cola. Now, the mango pineapple clincher. Get quenched. Oh, also really good. This is like, Playground juice right here. You give this to five-year-olds, they can live for 16 days without sleep. Oh, wow, it's good though. Can you, can you look up the grams of sugar? Is that something we can find out? This is fucking sweet, y'all. There's no nutritional. No facts. nutritional facts. Nice work. <laughs> Keep it a secret, Jolly Bee. No wonder this bee's fucking got that smile. Look at this guy's smile. He's looking back down at his quencher. <laughs> <laughs> also, I heard some people want to know like how much the items cost on Eat the Menu. So I'm like, that's a great question. But of course, you know, when I order the menu, I don't necessarily order the combo meal of every single item, right? I'm not gonna order whatever the highest possible cost is, but I guess we could start throwing in how much we paid. I guess, if you guys want to know that. Let me know. If enough people comment that they want to know the prices for how much we spend on this, we'll do it. Until then, just look it up. I feel so appropriately quenched. I think now it's time to move on to the chicken sandwiches. Now joining me for the chicken sandwiches is Second Try's very own father, Ned Fulmer! Yeah! All right, all right. Uh, I, I did think that I was gonna be just waist up today, so I wore my gym shorts. You look good. Um, I didn't expect this, and I'm very embarrassed. No, when you, eat, when you eat fried chicken, you should feel cozy. I just have the ability to work out after this. Doesn't say I'm going to. Yeah. I just like, it's like athleisure. At any point, a workout any might point happen. Today, See, we're working out right we're now. Working it out. Can we start this with this a little yeah, gravy yeah. sipper? Yeah, dude, I think the gravy is really good. <laughs> Let's try the gravy again. <clears throat> Mmm, mmm. Oh yeah. It's good. I would just have a little side sipper of that. <laughs> all day. It's like Thanksgiving and my oh my my voice just suddenly went <laughs> several heavy. octaves lower. It's good. There's it's a lot clear. of salt. The chicken dippers. With rice. Mmm. But the gravy's so good. Mm-hmm. It looks a lot crispier than it is. It looks a lot like the Popeye's chicken strips, actually. They have a very similar sort of thin look. It's got a nice crumble on the outside that makes you think it's gonna be crunchy. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna take a big old honk and crisper bite, uh, but it's really not. I can taste the marinade in this, whereas I wasn't sure if I could always taste it in the bone-in fried chicken, but this meat tastes like it has a specific flavor. It's very tender. It's like, it doesn't need the gravy, but if I slathered in it, it's that much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would just dump it like straight oh in God. this gravy. Oh. I think you're on it. God, sink it me. It didn't fit in a little bit. Sink me deep. like the Titanic, you bitch. Call me Steve Jobs because I'm innovating right now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, here we wow. go. Let's try the classic chicken sandwich. Whoa. 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 It's no Popeye's fried chicken sandwich, but it is definitely worth putting its hat in the ring as the second or third best. This is really good. And this the has a big old slap in the face full of garlic. Look at how moist this is. You know how they have some cereals that's like berry blast? Mm-hmm. It's garlic like blast. Garlic gusher. 
Yeah, get in that gravy, bro. <laughs> some gravy. Dude, the gravy's good. So this is the chicken deluxe sandwich. All that's changed is we made it deluxe, the classic American way of adding some, some yeah. tomato, some lettuce, and some mayo. Something is odd. Hmm. That's not mayo. I don't know, man. This one's a little underwhelming. I don't think there's anything deluxe about this. What is this sauce? I'm gonna see um, if the gravy offsets the garlic. I, yeah, I don't know, man. This The, the lettuce is a little bitter. Mm -hmm. I was happier with just the plain, mm -hmm. like, chicken, bread, garlic blast. Yeah, the vegetables weren't fresh enough to add anything good to the sandwich. I think stick with the classic chicken sandwich. Yep. The deluxe was not deluxe. It was de minus. Mm. Got him. But Ned, things are going great with you. We got the Baby Steps podcast. It's still crushing it. Check it out wherever podcasts exist. You already know that it followed their entire trajectory through the pregnancy. But now the baby's here and there's more things to figure out and understand. It's wild. We have two young boys running around, uh, but it's all the funny stories from what that is like. All right, kids. All right, see you later, see Ned. You later. Take your little gravy bucket with you. Thank you, I will. Sail away on the gravy boat. Now joining me to have some yummy yum burgers from Tailgate Debate, please welcome Marissa! Let me just stand up your chair. Thank you. <laughs> All right, hey, welcome. Hey, what's up? Marissa's here fresh off receiving a negative COVID result. Oh yeah, it's safe. Whoa, it's Whoa. Like this. Whoa, look at that. Who knew? Who knew it was gonna have that much goop on it? This is just the plain yum burger, but damn, it's got a lot of goop. What is this goop? I assume it's like a thousand island, right? Because the Philippines are like a thousand islands. Mm, that's good, that's good goop. All right, let's try the yum burger. Let's go. Oh, good. I like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The burger patty is the same burger from that burger meal, and it's so heavily seasoned. Yes, it's good. It's like a little sweet. Season. It's sweet. Why don't we flavor our burger patties there's, like this in America? There's literally nothing on this. Mm. It's bread, patty, and, and goo. goo. A cheese yum burger. Yeah. yeah. The cheese did make a difference. It did. I was wrong. <laughs> I was Shut right. My mouth. <laughs> I get why they call it a yum burger. It's yum. It's yum. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I need some water though. Well, you can't have any. I have the water bottle. You have to get really salty dehydrated when you shoot this series. <laughs> I go home and I drink quarts of water and I don't pee. I'm not kidding. Now this suddenly, like we went from like Little Burger to tall, impressive burger boy over here. The amazing Aloha Yum Burger. We'll see if it's amazing. That's so many adjectives. I love, I love the fun. The big slice of pineapple, the bacon, the bacon doesn't look good. No. <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. That's so good. Wow. Oh, that's so good. Holy cow. Pineapple really balances it well. And it, I feel like I'm having a specialty burger like a Red Robin right now. Ooh. You know? Yeah, I know. Comment down below if you would like Keith to do Red uh, Robin. Keith I don't know. I want to do, I need to do something like an Outback. I need to do another Olive Garden level restaurant. That's around the corner, sure. But the big yum burger. Oh, that is a lot of goop. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> all right, all right. Mm -hmm. After the aloha. I mean, mm -mm. it just tastes kind of like the way a double quarter pounder with cheese tastes, too much beef and cheese. I'm not getting the balance that I need. Okay, well, it's time for a hot dog. Yay! It's time for a little hot dog. Love eating something salad. Da, 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 da. I didn't expect that. It's the Jolly Hot Dog. <laughs> it doesn't look good. I don't want to eat it. At no point did the cheese melt on the hot dog, which leads me to believe it was it's not served hot. Cross section. It looks like the spaghetti dogs. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> go ahead. Take a big bite. Dive in. Life is about experiences. Even some are bad. Some are bad, some are good. It's intense. We don't spit out on this show, Marissa. You don't. You gotta fight through it. Oh my God. <laughs> what is in it? An undercooked hot dog with Miracle Whip 
mm -hmm. and sad cheese. I'm sad that that's what we ended on. Well, you know, some things are joy, some things are jolly, some things are disappointing. That's just the jolly B way. Marissa, what else are you working on? You, you I know you're in a lot of commercials. You, you got some other cool projects coming up. Anything the audience could look forward to seeing? Nothing I can talk about. Oh, mysteries, <laughs> mysteries. Well, that's cool. If you want to see more Marissa and you haven't seen our episode of Tailgate Debate with Breakfast Burritos, check it out. It's a super fun time. All right, so thanks for dropping by. We'll see you next time. Okay, bye. 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 See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye, bye internet. Bye. Follow Marissa on the internet. She's got an Instagram, just like you. Guys, we made it. We're here. It's time now for our just desserts. And at Jollibee, they only have two desserts, and they're both pretty signature desserts for the Philippines. The first, we have the peach mango pie made with real Philippine mangoes. I don't know what's different about their mangoes, but excited to eat them. Look at this. Doesn't it look good? It smells really good. It smells like French fries and fruit. Let's just listen real quick. Oh, do you hear that little, those crystallizations? Look at it, it is bright mango color in there. Mmm. Mmm. I accidentally, in that moment of biting, just fully swallowed a peach hole. So slippery. It just like, this walked down my throat, I didn't swallow it, it just gracefully slid through my body. That is amazing. I don't know if the mango is actually as strong a flavor as the peach. Maybe the Philippine mangoes have more of a peach flavor. Um, it's really good. Ooh. Oh. Ah. And we also have the infamous hollow hollow. Or maybe it's pronounced halo halo. Or maybe it's halo hollow. Hollow hollow, I was right the first time. We put it in the freezer when we got home, so it's kind of frozen over, so I'm just gonna just break it up a little bit. Typically, it would just be broken up for you. <laughs> it's a bean. It's a bean. Okay. Very cold, so cold. I'm supposed to mix it up, but it's so cute. Why would they not just mix it up for me? It's so cold. I'm just eating ice. How am I supposed to eat this f***ing thing? Can I get a bowl? I need to pour this out. What the f is green stuff in here? Hold on. Are these beans or jelly beans? I think this was truly invented when some kid walked down the dessert bar and put a scoop of everything into their bowl. Ice creams, jellos, flans, jackfruit. There's ice and beans. And you're like, yeah, Keith, but they probably taste like sweet beans. Like, yeah, kind of. They also kind of taste like beans. <laughs> I'm sure it's normal to people who have had it all their life. But I haven't, so to me it's a little weird. So that's it, we have tried everything from Jollibee. So now you know what time it is. It's time for the best and the least best. All right, before I get to the best and least best, I did just find out that I guess the Halo Halo is meant to represent the diversity of cultures in the Philippines. So that's kind of cool, right? I'm taking a little bit of everybody's dessert. And that kind of explains what I said. It was kind of like everything on a dessert bar in one. It was kind of a mishmash of their various cultures of desserts in one. So I respect what it is. I think it's cool. That said, the underlying flavor of sweetness, I liked it. Let's think, let's think, let's think everybody. Hello gravy, I still kept the gravy here the whole time. The gravy's been a good friend. This drink also really grew on me as well, very sweet. Let me, let's start with the least best. I think that the least best, without a doubt, is the Jolly Hot Dog. The Jolly Hot Dog fully made one of our guests spit it out. And I didn't like the hot dogs in the spaghetti either. I think the base hot dog did not have enough flavor of hot dogness. It just didn't work, it didn't work. Sorry, but it didn't work. Uh, but really, that's it. And the other things that weren't good were just only fine. It wasn't that they weren't good, they were just only fine. However, when it comes to the best, the best of the day is specifically the hamburger patty. It was amazing in the burgers, it was amazing under the gravy, it was amazing by itself. I mean, normally when you get those basic kids burgers or cheeseburgers, you get them because they're plain. But these were not plain. So flavorful, so amazing. They had that Thousand Island type signature sauce on it. And also special shout out to the gravy. The gravy itself, delicious. Chicken sandwiches, pretty good. The fried chicken, also pretty good. It's not gonna replace my obsession with Popeyes, but it was good. And I think if that's the only fried chicken option, you're not gonna be disappointed. Charlie B overall, I think was really fun. I think anytime you can, you should try a restaurant that food you haven't tried before. A great way to understand a people is by eating their food. And even a chain can tell you a lot about that people. I mean, there's 1,150 Jollibees in the Philippines. Safe to say, 
Everybody there has eaten there, just like everybody in America has eaten at McDonald's. It's just a part of our culture. Uh, and thanks for watching. This has been great. Thanks to all our guests, Chewy, Ned, Alex, Marissa. What a time. What a good time we had, huh? Make sure you check out both Keith's Average Burger Sauce and Keith's Chicken Sauce through the link in the description. Check out the other Eat the Menus. Until next time, all aboard the gravy train. That's a big plus. I gotta say, Jack in the Box, I thought I was gonna die. Jokes aside, I, I was like, what if I die? What if I have a heart attack from this? Should I stop doing this? The answer is no, I shouldn't.